Hi, my name is Phil. I'm the development chef here at Clover Food Lab. And today for our seasonal pizza, we're gonna be doing a guajillo salsa with uh, chickpea chorizo, queso fresco, um, local daikon radish from next bar and over, and a little bit of cilantro. So first we're gonna go on here with our guajillo salsa. This is a really delicious, smoky, savory, little bit sweet, little bit spicy sauce that we make in house. You may be familiar with this from the uh, Baja mushroom sandwich. Like all of our sauces, you're gonna start right in the middle and start working your way outward. Just making little circles there. And this, this salsa isn't too spicy, but if, uh, if spice is a concern, you might wanna go a little light on this. The guajillo chili is uh, sort of similar to like a chipotle. It's a smoked chili. So it's like really nice, robust flavor, not too, too hot. Next, we're gonna crumble some of our queso fresco on here. This you might have to break it up with your fingers a little bit. Here, Michelle, would you like to try any queso fresco? I do love queso fresco. And next we're just gonna put some little pieces of our chickpea chorizo on here. All right, and next we're gonna put this in a 425 degree oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. This will actually probably bake a little bit less time than your regular pizzas, just cause we're not putting quite as much cheese on there and um, a little bit less sauce. All right, and while our pizza's baking, we're gonna prep our daikon. Um, this you're probably gonna to wanna to peel. The skins can sometimes be a little bit bitter or a little bit fibrous. I'm gonna take the peels off. There are a few different ways you can cut this. Uh, if you want to have big slices or if you have a skinnier radish, you can cut circles straight off it like that. And I would just shoot for those to be about an eighth of an inch thick. Or if that's a little difficult, or if you have a very large radish, uh, half moons would work nicely as well. Or if you want some strips, also cut it like this. This is going to be a really tasty, really sweet radish. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit spicy, but I think you'll find that this is uh, less peppery than you know your breakfast radish or you know, your small red radishes. And if you have leftovers, uh, this is a great braising radish. You can add it to stews. You can cook it on its own with broth, it's really nice. Some great in salads. All right, and when your pizza comes out of the oven and it's got nice color on that chorizo and on the cheese, we're just gonna take our uh, radish that we diced up, sprinkle that on top. This is gonna add a really nice little crunch, a little bit of sweetness. Kind of the same way as if you're having a little raw radish on top of a taco. I really like daikon, so I might put more on here than you necessarily need to, but. And then just to finish this off, throw some of our cilantro leaves on there. If, uh, if you don't like cilantro, you can absolutely leave this part off. This would be very tasty pizza with just the uh, chickpea chorizo and cheese. All right, and there is our guajillo salsa, queso fresco, uh, daikon radish, chickpea chorizo, and fresh cilantro pizza.